I was scrolling through different subreddits when a comment mentioned the name for a filler which made a light bulb pop in my head. Cause one of my subscribers already mentioned this website to me and asked for my opinion about it. Well, I submitted two test pictures which I selected randomly and waited three days for the votes to come. And well, the results are interesting to say the least. I'm gonna share with you my findings. The goal of this video is to know how photo filler works, how the rating system works, the best use scenario for photo filler, and the difference between my ratings and their rating system. If you wanna support the channel and get your face evaluated by me with personalized look max and advice, link will be down in the description. Without further ado, let's get this video started. So this is the landing page of the photo filler website. You have to sign in with Facebook, Google account, or create an account from scratch with your email. After that, you run your test. You are only allowed one photo per test. You can import your pictures from Facebook, LinkedIn, or simply upload them. After that, you choose in which category you want your pictures to be rated. Do you want them to get rated for business, social, or dating? I chose to be rated for dating because that will be the most accurate for attractiveness, I think. Then you get to choose your gender and age. After that, if you are on the free version, both genders will rate your pictures. But from my personal experience, even on the free version, the majority of who will rate you are from the opposite gender, so don't worry about it. But if you want to pay for credit, you can get to select the specific gender and age bracket that will rate you. After that again, if you are on the free version, you choose the karma test, which means you gain karma by rating others so that others will rate you. Or if you have credit, you can pay for how many precise votes you want. Then you launch the test, wait and gather karma by rating others from time to time if you are again on the free version. So on what basis do your photos get rated? Well, you get rated on three categories, how smart you look, how trustworthy you look and how attractive you look. In each category, there are four voting levels, which are no, somewhat, yes, and very. All the data gets gathered over time to give you a score, which I believe max out at 10, but I'm not 100% sure. That's what I think. Let's take a look at two of the tests that I have run. One got 45 votes and one got 40 votes. Let's start with the highest voted one. When it comes to the scores on smartness, I got a 6.6, .6, which is slightly above average, I believe. When it comes to trustworthiness, I got an average score of 5.3. And finally, the attractiveness score seems to be decent and above average with a score of 7.8. You can also look at the data of your scores. For example, 21 people found me smart, 16 people found me somewhat smart, and 8 found me to be an idiot. But I am most interested in attractiveness ratings. Let's take a look at them. 2 people found me highly attractive, 22 people found me attractive, 14 somewhat attractive, and 7 voted no, which means they found me unattractive. The trustworthy scores are on screen if you are interested, you can pause the video. Then you have another tab where people write you notes. Here people wrote me 5 notes, saying, great photo, would prefer it if it didn't seem like a selfie, would prefer it if they were smiling more, would prefer different facial hair, I would try something more natural and relaxed. For my other test, I got a 6 on smart, 5 on trustworthy, guess I just have a face that can't be trusted. And 7.4 on the attractiveness score, which is decent, we see that the scores almost match up between my two tests. Let's take a look at the data then. When it comes to the smartness scale, 3 people found me very smart, 13 voted that I look smart, 19 said someone smart, and 5 voted no. Let's jump to the attractiveness vote. 2 voted that I was highly attractive, 16 voted that I was attractive, 20 voted that I was somewhat attractive, and 2 found me straight up ugly. The trustworthy data looks worse. Guess I just look like the guy who will stab you in the back. The notes that people left are funny. Most complained about how aggressive I dress, and I agree, I dress aggressively. Most of my wardrobe is black, and I ain't changing that anytime soon. I enjoy dressing like this. Now another thing I want to add about the rating system is that if you for example always rate high, an artificial intelligence will kick in to reduce the value of your rating. And if you rate too low, then the AI will raise that rating, this is done so that the end results will be about as accurate as possible. And if you rate moderately and fairly, then the AI will not intervene and leave your rating as it is. So there is an AI in place that makes sure there is no funny business going on, the system cannot be easily tricked. So what's the best use scenario for photo filler? Well, in my opinion, I would use the testing tools to know, for example, which pictures are the best to use on dating apps like Tinder by running multiple tests. When it comes to facial attractiveness, it will be a rough estimate on where your stand looks wise, not highly accurate, because in some photos you will be better than others, so you will end up with two different scores. But what makes this different from, let's say, my own rating system? Well, when I work with someone and rate his face, he or she is required to upload two necessary frontal and side profile pictures. 
not taken at any angles, and then they can include other pictures if they like. Then I break down and look at each facial feature which allows me to know the strong points, the average features, and the flaws in their different levels of severity. Then I give a final score, this process can take an hour, more or less, depending on the face, which allows me to give highly detailed look maxing advice, hard or soft, that targets such flaws. I also calculate in things like body, height, and ethnicity, if the clients request so. So photo filler is about how attractive you look in the pictures, but mine is more focused on the face and measuring facial features. But I'm curious about your experience with photo filler guys. Was it accurate for you or a complete bust? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. A like and subscribe would be highly appreciated. And like usual, catch you guys in the next one.